polishes this month I've somehow just been gravitating truly towards nudes I'm not so sure why and one of them I actually still have in my nails right now although it does need to be fixed now this is from Dior and they're both actually limited edition from this fall season or from limited edition collections so these are the two right here this is the Dior Safari Beige 219 they're from their fall collection this is a true nude on my medium skin tone and this one is 521 Rose Cash this is a Chanel Le Vernis, and this is the one that I have on and this is more of a pink beige so these two have truly been loving this month last but not the least in terms of skincare and cosmetic or beauty products this is a fragrance that I've been enjoying tremendously and I haven't enjoyed a fragrance this much in so long. This is the perfume by Prada called Candy and I'm absolutely in love with this. I think this is going to be a constant now in my fragrance collection. And then a few things that are not really skincare, cosmetics or beauty products but I've truly enjoyed this month. Um, this is just a scarf. It's a wool cashmere blend and this is a limited edition exclusive from Holt Renfrew which is a high-end department store in Canada. This is by Michael Kors and this one was for a charity, I think it was for the breast cancer month. So it's just absolutely lightweight, amazing fabric and even if I'm in humid weather I usually just carry it around or wrap it around my neck because some a lot of the places you go to or anywhere you go they usually have tremendous draft of air conditioning and this has just served the purpose really well sweaters don't really work when you're in warm, warm and humid weather but this I can just casually throw in any purse and because it's so lightweight and the fabric is amazing it's really quickly become a staple in my purse this is another thing that I've been loving this month. These are the ribbon hair ties from Sephora and they're supposed to not give you any um, marks in your hair when you actually tie them and I completely agree. They're very, very soft and they don't look um, as cumbersome as you know typical hair elastics when you have them in your wrist, which I usually wear. And usually when I wear this on my wrist, they can pass almost as an accessory with my watches so it doesn't really look so terrible and so this is how they usually look when I have them on and they don't I don't usually wear both together but they just don't really look as terrible as regular hair ties and they work amazing their functionality and they truly don't leave any marks in the hair so I actually highly recommend the Sephora hair ties I believe they're ten dollars in Sephora for hair ties Last but not the least, this is my Muji organizer, bag or purse organizer, which I recently just purchased. It's a current favorite, and I think it's going to be a forever favorite in my purse. It just is the first organizer that actually did work for me. Um, yeah, not cumbersome, nothing was falling out, and still managed to hold so much without being so large and still having a very streamlined design to it. So... I think that's about it. Those are a few of the products that I currently am enjoying and products that I've been enjoying the entire month of October. I hope that was interesting or informative for you guys. I will attempt to really do a review on the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish as well as the this Eve Loam Cleanser. So I guess that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a great day or a great evening.